Hi, I'm Vanessa Alcarta, SAS and Caregiver, uh, SAS and St. Augustine Caregiver. And today, I'm going to perform a return de demonstration on inserting of nasogastric tubing. What is nasogastric tubing? Nasogastric tubing is a procedure that the nurse, nurses or the caregiver use for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. Patients have a nasogastric tube inserted immediately after any major surgery or approximately 48 to 72 hours. And nasogastric tube is intended for short term, used to help prevent vomiting after surgery and keep the patient's stomach empty. Nurses or caregivers also use the tube to feed um, critical ill patients and to administer their medications to them. Nasogastric tubes are also used in the event of drug overdose as firing the patient that's when GI bleeding of course. Um, and getting gastric content from the patient's stomach for lab analysis. By inserting a nasogastric tube, you are gaining access to the stomach and its contents. The compress um, enables you to drain gastric contents decompress the stomach, obtain a specimen of a gastric contest or introduce a passage into a GI tract. This will allow you to, to treat gastric immobility and bowel obstruction. It will also for drainage or lavage of a drug, overdose or positioning. In trauma settings, nasogastric tubes can be used can also be used to aid the prevention of vomiting and aspirations, as well as, as well as for assessments of GI bleeding. Nasogastric tubes can also be used for internal feeding initial. A stethoscope, a tape, a cup of water with straw, an improvised pH strip to assess the pH of the aspirate, improvised water soluble lubricant, a specimen cup, a towel, a nasal gastric tube, and a septal irrigation syringe, and of course our medical gloves. The order, the, check the doc, doctor's order for insertion of nasal gastric tube. This clarifies, clarifies the, the procedure and type of, of equipment required. Explain the procedure to the client explanation facilitates client cooperation gather the equipments um, organization uh, organization provides accurate skills performance assess the client's abdomen uh, assess uh, assessment determines presence of bowels sound and amount of abdominal dis distension hi mom and uh, hi mom what's your name Gastric tubes that okay with you? Yes. May I know your birthday? November 10. Okay, November 10. Okay, thank you. And now I will assess the uh, the client's abdomen. How do you feel with the abdomen? Okay. No. Good or not? Mm. Okay. Okay. Perform hand hygiene. Hand hygiene deters the, the spread of microorganisms, but sterile technique is not needed because the digest, digestive tract is not sterile. Gloves fruit, okay. Gloves protects from the exposure to blood or body fluids. to a high power's position or 45 angle if enabled to maintain upright position. Upright position is more natural for swelling and protects against aspiration if the client uh, should bang it. Okay, now may I help you to uh, power's position?
um, checking the nose field. Check the nurse for patency by asking the client to hold one nose field and wet normally to other. Which which one you can get? Check the nears for patency by asking the client to click one nose and bring Okay, normally true. Then, clean the nears by using cotton balls. Select the nostril through which air passes mo more easily. Tube passes more easily through the nostril with a large opening. Okay, so I select here because... Uh, my client said she can read here easily and, and of course I'm on the right uh, on her right so it's easily for me to, to perform a nasogastric tube uh, in this side in the right position okay um, measure the distance the measure the distance to insert the tube but by placing place the tip of the tube at client's nose still Extending to the tip of explode of the airlock. Measures the distance to insert the tube by placing. Place the tip of the tube at the client's nostril, extending to the tip of of airlock. Extending to the tip of sequoid process. Okay. Mark tube with a marker pen or piece of tape. Measurements ensures that the tube will be long enough to, in, to enter the client's stomach. But before that, we put a, a towel on her chin okay then I will get the tube measure the distance to insert the tube by placing place the tube to the five nose peel put the air low Down to the client's stomach. Okay, and then uh, mark the tube with a marker pen or, or a piece of tape. Okay, and sometimes the our tube has a number marker, so we, we this is an uh, easy for us to, to distinguish the length of a tube we are needed. So we don't have to put any marker tape on it, but if you want, it's up to you, okay? And now I will put the marker tape on it. Okay. And then, lubricant, lubricant the tip of the tube at this one, one, one to two inches with a water soluble lubricant. Lubricant reduces friction and facilitates passage of the tube into the stomach. Cytokine jelly may not be recommended uh, to use as lubricant due to the risk of cytokine shock after soluble, after, uh, water soluble lubricant will not cause pneumonia if tube accidentally enters the lungs. Okay? I will now use an improvised water soluble lubricant. Inserting the tube. Insert the tube into the nostril while directing the tube downward and upwards. The client may gag when the tube reaches the pharynx. The pharynx. Instruct the client to touch his chin to chest. Encourage her to swallow even if no fluids are permitted. Okay, I'm now going to insert from the nose trail, from the nose trail, down, down wide and back wide. And then encourage the patient to touch her chin, her chest to Okay. Uh -huh. Following the normal contour of the nasal passage, 
while inserting the tube reduces uh, irritation and the likelihood of uh, mucus, uh, mucus injury. The gut reflex stimulated by the tube. Swa swallowing, uh, swa sw swallowing helps advance the tubes, causes the epiglottis to cover the opening of the trachea and helps to eliminate gagging and coughing. Okay? Advance the tube downward, downward, and backward direction, uh, direction when the client swallows stop when the client breathes. If gagging and coughing persists, check the placement of the tube with a tongue depressor and flashlight if necessary. Then keep advancing the tube until the marker of the of the tape marker is reached. Okay, and here is the tape marker. Here is the tape marker. Okay. Do not use force. Uh, rotate the tube if the if it meets the resistance. Discontinue the procedure and remove the tube if the tubes are signs of distress, such as gasping, coughing, cyanosis, and the inability to speak or hum. Excessive coughing and gagging may occur if the tube has curled in the back of the throat. Forcing the tube may injure mucous membranes. The tube is not in the, the esophagus if the client shows signs of distress and is unable to speak or harm. How are you feeling? Okay. okay. While keeping one hand on the tube, verify the tube's placement in the stomach. Okay. I will put a um, temporary tape on her nose to secure the tube. Okay. I will use the stethoscope if the tube is in the stomach or uh, okay. okay. Aspiration of of a small small amount of stomach contents. The tube is this. Uh, the tube is in the stomach. If it's contest, it can uh, can be aspirated. Uh, attach the syringe to the end of the tube and aspirate small amounts. Okay. Attach the syringe and aspirate small amounts of small uh, small small amounts of stomach contents. Visualize aspirated. Contents. Checking for color and contents co consistency. Okay. Ascultation. Ascultation. Inject small amount of air. Uh, 10 to 10 to 15 ml. Okay. 10 to 15 ml into the nasogastric tube while you listen with stethoscope. Okay. I will aspirate while we send into stethoscope. They ingest about 8 cm below the sternum. Okay. Obtain radiograph or placement of tube as ordered by doctor.
If the tube is in the stomach, you will be able to hear the whooshing sound. If the tube is in the esophagus, injecting the air will be difficult or impossible. In addition, injection of air often causes the client to glitch immediately. If the tube is in the larynx, the client usually isn't able to speak. Secure the tube with a tape with the client's nose. Okay? Tape with the client's nose. Be careful not to pull the tube too tightly against the nose. Constant pressure of the tube against the skin and mucous membranes cause, uh, causes tissues injury. Okay? Uh, clamp the end of nasal gastric tube. Okay? I will clap the end of nasal gastric tube. Okay. I will use the the rock. I will use this to clamp the end of the nasal gastric tube. Okay. Like this. While you blend the tube by fingers not often. Bending tube prevents the inducing of secretion. Put off and dispose gloves. Perform high uh, hand hygiene to prevent the spread of the in infection. Replace and properly dispose of equipment to prepare for the next procedure. Record the date, the time, uh, the size of the nasal gastric tube, the amount and the color of the drainage, drainage aspirated, and relevant client reactions. Sign the chart. Report to the senior staff to provide the continuity of care. Thank you.